I've had the car out. Uh, I've driven the car. I mean, the the ride is you know standard extreme chassis ride. You know. Uh, the Chevelle that we've we've recently finished uh, is equipped with this the Speedtech Extreme Torque Arm chassis. So let's just run through some of the uh, the features of the of the chassis. Um, to start with, it's all laser cut, bent. Uh, we just do all the design in house. We've got uh, some pretty cool features that are in the chassis that we can that we can show you. Um, just the way that it's internally boxed and gusseted really, really helps with the rigidity of the chassis. It's got some additional rails that run down the center to mount the transmission cross member and the torque arm cross member that, uh, that adds some rigidity to it. Obviously it's our design. It uses the Speedtech forged spindle um, with all our steering geometry, uh, spline sway bar, JRI single adjustable shocks. And all of that stuff just works together. Um, the steering angle on, on the extreme chassis is probably industry leading. We're, we're up to 32 degrees depending on what tire size. This one, this car's got a 295 on the front. So we can set the steering stops to get it where the tire just clears the fender. And the fender really becomes the limiting factor on the steering in, in this setup. So with the low ride height, the excessive steering, it it's I mean it's a two lane road U turn car. There's no there's there's no four point turns and all that sort of stuff. So that part of it's really good. The torque arm itself, um, if you're not familiar with it, uh, you should really check it out on our website. It's we've had it in production now for eighteen years. I don't even know how many thousands and thousands of them are on the road and really the feedback has just constantly been how good it handles, how compliant it is on the street. Um, you know, you don't get any wheel hop, you don't, you just don't get any of that stuff that that comes up with, with some of the other traditional suspension designs. Again, we use a JRI single adjustable shock uh, on, on the base uh, model but uh, double adjustable and triple adjustable shocks are also available in any of the extreme packages. So the other thing about the extreme chassis uh, is that they all come base with a nine inch, 31 spline, nine inch. Uh, we can supply the center section if you want, if you don't have one. They typically come with a true track differential, any gear ratio you want. The most common gear ratios on these cars with a six speed is a 373. Some guys that want a little bit more performance, maybe autocross or something like that, will choose a 389. Uh, but those are really the two best gear ratios for these combinations. The other thing that we've got in this uh, extreme chassis line for the Chevelles is a full IRS chassis. And that IRS chassis is really kind of cutting edge in, in the pro touring world. Um, we've got two styles. One we call a high mount, which uses a, a cantilever rocker system and, and a just an amazing setup with the the motion ratio that's built into the cantilevers and and the the control that the shocks have over that suspension the other system we have is our traditional mount which mounts the shock down inside the suspension and keeps it all out out of the trunk so you can have a nice clean trunk if you want to put a big stereo in it or or just keep it keep it nice and clean in the trunk it does make it a little harder to adjust but you still get the amazing ride out of it driving this car the other day um, you know, we always do shakedown runs, put a couple of hundred miles on them before we get back to the get it back to the customer. We were out driving it the other day, and um, first impressions: the the main road in front of the shop here is really pretty broken up, and the car just really just handles that broken concrete and the bump so nicely. It's it's very compliant. It's not all over the road. You're not trying to steer around the bumps because the, the bumps track that. It's just a really nice riding car. Get it out on the highway a little bit, 60, 70 miles an hour, and I mean it's just one hand driving and one arm out the window with the stereo blaring. I mean that's just the way these cars drive with this with this extreme suspension. So. 
think the customer is going to be really happy when he gets gets some miles on it and gets used to driving it and and can get it out to a few shows maybe even some autocross events it's going to be good check it out on the website if you're not familiar with it if you are give us a thumbs up